हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल बायोलॉजिकल डोमेन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू फ्लावर ऑफ विनका रोजिया विच इज कॉमनली नोन एज सदा बहार इन हिंदी यू आर फैमिलियर विथ दिस फ्लावर इट इज प्रेजेंट इन डिफरेंट कलर्स लाइक पिंक वाइट एंड वायलेट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द डिशेक्शन ऑफ विंका रोजिया विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज पेरी विंकल फ्लावर एंड इट्स बॉटनिकल नेम इज कैथरेंथस रोजियस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द डिशेक्शन ऑफ विंका रोजिया before we starting dissecting we have to separate this flower from the leaf part from the leaf part see this has been dissected from the leaf part there is a three term you have to know that is pedicel pedio petiole and peduncle that a pedicel is the part which attach flower to the leaf this part see carefully this is the part that is known as pedicel which attach flower to the leaf and petiole is the part which attach leaf to the stem you can see this is the part which is known as petiole and this is the part which is known as pedicel and one most thing the peduncle peduncle is the part which attach flower in inflorescence means there is a bunch of flower which attach from the part which is known as peduncle so let's start the dissecting of periwinkle flower there is a three flower we have to take one more one uh, uh, one flower which is easily to dissect so before starting dissecting we have to know that parts of flower is of mainly four types that is petals sepals and rosium and gynoecium there is a four part of flower which helps in reproduction in flower so let's start dissecting so before starting we have to dissect always from the lower side of flower where is the lower pa parts that is the lower parts and we have to dissect from here so you can see it carefully that there is a thread like a structure Uh, this is is this visible yeah this is a part which is known as sepals so remove it carefully this is sepals so five sepals are present in periwinkle flower you can do it at your home it's very sticky
very small so it's sticked on our my hand So, see, this is sepals. Here I have written petals, carpels, sepals, and stamen. Uh, petals, sepal, carpel, stamen are the unit. And on the box, I have written that is the bunch. Means uh, if there is a five sepals, so it is uh, united known as calyx. So, one part is sepals. But uh, five parts together is known as calyx. So let's uh, start dissecting uh, the other parts. You know clearly that it that it uh, are the parts that is known as petals. Means one petal, two petal, three, four, and five. And it uh, and together this is called corolla. So first of all, after uh, before dissecting corolla part, we have to dissect androsium and gynosium part. Because it is very thinly attached. So, here are pedicel and gynosium parts are very attached together. Oh, ovary has been dissected. So let's do. So, you can see this. So it's as this. This is carpel and see there are androsium which are, which are fused together in the tube of corolla. This is known as this long structure is known as tube of corolla. So androsium parts are fused together in parts of corolla. You can see here like See, these are fused together. These are stamen. They are also five in number. So they are five in number. You can see here that is androsium part, and then the parts are fused in this corolla part, and this whole is petals. You can view it clearly, and after dissecting this part, that is ovary. You you know that. There are three parts in gynosium that is first is stigma, style and ovary. So I have dissected this and you can see very clearly that there is two carpel. One, you can see one. Are you, are this visible?
this 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 is one and this is another one so two carpillary i i can show you by after dissecting that there is a two carpillary this is two carpillary are present in the ovary and it is upper the thalamus so this is the ovary part this all about the dissection of periwinkle flower which is known as vinca rosea i hope you have understood this uh, so if you like this video please subscribe and share as more as thank you